Hello and welcome to Sherry Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, where we have over 350 new and pre-owned vehicles in stock, ready for immediate delivery. If you're on YouTube, want to look at our current inventory or this specific unit of all the still pictures we have, please go to SherryChrysler.com. That's S-H-E-R-R-Y-C-H-R-Y-S-L-E-R.com. Today we're going to show you a new arrival to the dealership. It's a 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn Edition with the Blackout Night Edition. This is a really cool package. With this Night Edition, you're going to get your black front grille. Also, you're going to get your really nice black 20 inch rims. Another feature you're going to get with this night edition is you're going to get your blacked out step up board on your driver and passenger side. This specific unit does not have a bed liner, but that can be added through either through Z-Bart or Line-X. This is a short bed truck. As you notice with the night edition, all the badging, whether it's the Ram badging up on the front, uh, the Bighorn badging, as you can see here, the Ram badging, the 4x4 badging, everything is going to be blacked out, which is another cool feature. On this specific unit, you do have your, your towing capabilities, so you do have your trailer hitch on the rear, along with your 4 and 7 pin wiring harness right there. Also on this really nice painted rear bumper, you're going to notice two circles on each side. Those are for your backup sensors. So when you're getting close, tight, backing into them tight corners, it'll notify you. Also a nice feature to add with that is it does have the backup camera on this specific unit. This specific unit is a four door, like I said, and it is a uh, four wheel drive Ram 1500. On the inside of this vehicle, you're going to notice it does have the cloth seating. Also, you're going to notice it has an eight-way power seat and a four-way lumbar. Really nice feature. Power side mirrors, also power folding mirrors, as you can see here. They fold in by a push of a button and fold out by a push of a button. Your, uh, your windows and your power locks. This specific unit does have automatic lighting with power foot pedals. For you shorter people, that is a great feature. Also now, we have a power pulling pulled parking brake. So you no longer have the power or the brake down here where you got to push down. You simply just pull the handle and it'll illuminate and your parking brake is set. Another really nice feature. On the inside of the vehicle, on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to get a set of buttons right here. What all these buttons are going to be right, these four buttons right here with the OK button in the center is going to operate your instrument cluster that's located in between your RPM gauge and your miles per hour gauge on the dash here. There's a magnitude of different options you can leave that on. For example, your trip, which it was originally set on. You can also set up for your fuel economy, your range, the range of fuel economy, economy, your speed, which is probably the most common, and a couple other cool features that can be done in there. Also on your dash, you're going to see it's going to show your temperature with also your direction on which way you're heading. Also on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to see two phone buttons with a voice in the center. You can pair your phone with the specific truck and you can answer your phone and communicate, have your conversation through your speaker system so you no longer have to reach for your cell phone. On the right hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to notice all your selections for your cruise control. Another great feature. And then on the back hand, the back side of the steering wheel, on the right hand side, you're going to have all your buttons for your volume. And then on the left hand, left hand side, on the back, you're going to have all your buttons to change channels on your radio. This is a push button start. Put your key in your pocket. You never have to take it out. You can unlock your car um, with your key in your pocket. You can lock your car with your key in your park pocket. And you can start your car and turn it off with the key in the pocket or the purse push button automatic four-wheel drive there's also a permanent high on four-wheel drive and permanent low along with two-wheel drive this also does have the start stop feature 
So when you're sitting at a red light with your foot on the brake, the motor will turn off, but everything inside from your radio, your heat or your air, all your controls, everything will still work as normal. As soon as you take your foot off the brake, it will engage the motor and you'll be off to the races and going forward at that point. You're gonna notice you're gonna get a really nice 8.4 inch touchscreen radio in this truck. This has AM, FM, it also has XM radio, and you also do get a free, free subscription when buying this vehicle brand new. There's also a media, uh, media outlet inside for you to download your media into. You also have dual climate controls on this uh, specific truck. You can set your passenger on a temperature and your driver on a complete opposite temperature. And it'll blow out in different um, different zones um, at different temperatures. There's also an auto setting where you can set it on auto, and it'll it'll keep that keep that exact temperature in that zone. Um, it'll adjust the speed of the uh, airflow. Another nice feature. There's a number of apps that are built into here. You can visual you can view your backup camera from in the apps. Um, there's all kinds of controls, radios, your phone. Uh, your climates, all kinds of stuff in here that can be uh, adjusted and um, to make you make it your own. Another really nice feature is this specific truck does have heated front seats, and there is three settings on that heat. There is a high, a medium, and a low. There's also, which is my favorite, the heated steering wheel, a very nice feature. Under the radio, you're going to have your knobs that you can manually adjust your volume. Also, you can also adjust manually with the knobs down below the volume for your climate control. So you do not have to use the radio. If you'd prefer to use the knobs, you can do so too. Dual climate controls on the sides, also your speeds in the center. Heated seats right above that for your driver and passenger and your steering wheel is in the center for your heated steering wheel. It does have a tow haul button. It does have front and rear um, for your parking assist. You can turn them on, on or off with the touch of a button right there. USB auxiliary switches and a very nice spacious storage compartment in here with two cell phone holders So not only do you have your bottom compartment for that you also have another small compartment up top right there Along with a smaller compartment right there with a USB And then under that you have another one. So a lot of room for storage in this specific unit Above the driver's side seat, you're going to notice there's three buttons for your universal garage door openers. You can program up to three garage door openers into this specific uh, truck. That way you no longer have to carry around your garage door openers. In the center in between your driver um, and passenger seating up top, you have a spot for your sunglasses or knickknacks. And then you also do have a button for your power rear sliding window that is also defrostable back there too. This specific unit does have side curtain airbags all the way around along with the two fronts. Surround sound throughout for your radio system and plenty of spacious room for your back passengers. Also on this back seat, you do have capability of having, you have two, two seat, four tether hooks built into the back bench for two car seats, one on each side, one on this side, and then one on that side. Great if you have little ones. Also, you're going to have your two cup holders with armrests built into the center. And then these seats easily flip up for a very large storage room if you need to keep stuff out of the weather or the elements in general. In the center, you're going to have more USBs, your rear vents for your AC and heat, and obviously.